All right, so now let's finally move on to some of the fun stuff, which is actually trading crypto on Qcoin. There's one more thing we need to do before we can start trading, which is moving funds from our main account to our trading account. So we're gonna go to our wallet right here and go to our main account. And then whatever funds you wanna trade with, you're gonna to have to move that to your trading account. So I have like 500 US dollar tether in my main account. So I'm just gonna to go to transfer right here. And then I choose trading account right here. So just let's just transfer all of it and then click on confirm. And now it has been transferred over to my trading account and I can just trade with that. Now there's no fees involved with moving funds around on your Qcoin account. Uh, Qcoin just has different accounts for different things you can do here on Qcoin. So then let's move on and go to the trading interface. So we're gonna to go to trade right here and then we're gonna to go to spot trading. So once we're here, the first thing we need to do in order to be able to trade is to type in your trading password on the bottom right. So just go here and then type in the trading password that you have set up. So I'm just gonna type in mine right now. And now the trading interface has been unlocked. So let me give you a quick overview of what we are seeing here. So all the way on the top, we can see the currency pair that we are trading right now, which is Bitcoin against US dollar Tether, which means that if you wanna trade that, you're gonna to need to either have Bitcoin or US dollar Tether, because you're always trading one currency against each other. We could also change this to, for example, Ethereum. Then we're just gonna type in ETH, and then we're gonna see all the trading pairs that are available for Ethereum. So here the most popular one is Ethereum versus US dollar Tether. So let's just click on that. And then we're gonna see all the, the information and the charts of Ethereum versus US dollar Tether. Now most people trade using a stable coin because that's just easier to do because all the prices will be in US dollars. So for this example, let's just stick with Ethereum and US dollar Tether. Then you can also see the current price of Ethereum and the 24 hour high and low price and also the 24 hour volume of how much has been traded in Ethereum and US dollar Tether in the last 24 hours. And then here you can see a so-called candlestick chart. So all these green and red candlesticks that you can see on this chart represent a specific time frame. Currently, the time frame is set to 15 minutes. So when the candle is green, then the price has risen in those 15 minutes. When the price is red, the price has been falling in those 15 minutes. So let's take this candlestick for example. So at the beginning of the time frame, the Ethereum price was $2,835. And at the end, the price was $2,848. Then on the next one, it started at 2,849 and then it dropped to 2,843. And then you can also see these sticks that stick out of these candles right here. This is basically the entire price movement in that specific time frame. So here in the top, this was the top price that it was traded at, at in those 15 minutes. And on the bottom, this is the lowest price that it was traded at in that specific time frame. And we can also change the time frame. So here on the top, you can see currently it is set to 15 minutes. We can also go to a 12 hour chart. So each candlestick will represent 12 hours. And then on the bottom, you can see that this is a kind of macro view. So this has been from April 15th to May 3rd, which is today. We can also change it to, let's say, a one minute chart where you can see um, the short term price movements of Ethereum. And then on the bottom of the chart, you can also see the trading volume. So how much has been traded at a specific time frame. So for example, here at this specific minute, there has been over $630,000 worth of Ethereum uh, was traded in that specific minute. Then below the chart, we also have some information about your account. So how many assets do you have? How many, um, what's, what's more important is how much you have in your trading accounts uh, of this trading pair. So currently there's like 1.5 Ethereum and just a bit over 7,000 US dollar tether in this trading account that I could now trade with, with Ethereum against US dollar tether. Then below that, there's uh, some order information. So open orders, advanced orders, order history and trade history. We're gonna look at that in a moment. 
And then right here we have the order book. This is where you can see all the people who want to buy and sell Bitcoin for a specific price. So on the top, you're going to see all the people who want to sell Bitcoin. And on the bottom, you're going to see all the people who want to buy Bitcoin. By definition, the prices of the people who want to sell is higher than the prices of people who want to buy. Because if the price matches, then the trade will actually be carried out. And this is what you can see here on the right side. These are all the trades that have been carried out. So the last trade was um, 0.00011 Ethereum for a price of 2,838 US dollar tether. And here you can also see the time when it was carried out. Obviously this changes every second because there are so many trades going on right here. And then here on the bottom is where you're gonna put in your buy and sell orders. We're gonna look at two different order types that every beginner should know, which is the limit order and the market order. Let's start with the limit order. So the advantage of a limit order is that you can set the price that you are willing to pay for whatever you're buying. So the current price of Ethereum is $2,840 right now. So let's say we are willing to pay $2,700. So we can go down here, go to a limit and type in 2,700 USD right here. This is how much we are willing to pay for one Ethereum. And then we can type in the amount of Ethereum we want to buy. So let's say we want to buy 0.1 Ethereum. And then I could just click on buy Ethereum. And now the order will be put in the order book. So here, if I scroll all the way down to the lower prices, I will see my order. However, the order will only carry out when the price actually falls to my price. So this is the disadvantage of a limit order. The price has to actually hit my price so that I will get whatever I'm buying for the specific price that I'm willing to pay. Here on the bottom under open orders, we can also see that we have one open order for um, 0.1 Ethereum at a price of 2,700 US dollar tether. If at some point we want to cancel the order, we could just click on cancel right here and then the order is canceled. When the price falls to this amount, nothing will happen. And I will basically just keep my US dollar tether. And now let's also look at the market order. Now the advantage of using a market order is that the trade will be carried out immediately. So here on the bottom, we can switch from limit to market. And now as you can see, we cannot set a price for the Ethereum that we want to buy. What will basically happen is it will basically just take the best price that is currently available in the order book, which you can see right here. It's always the lowest one here in the order book of people who want to sell. So here I can just type in the amount of US dollar tether I want to spend. So let's say I want to spend 100 US dollar tether and then uh, I can just click on buy ETH. And now, as you can see, the order has already filled because it has just taken the best price that is currently available right here. When we go to trade history right here on the bottom, we can see that Ethereum US dollar tether, the buy order, the market order has been carried out at the price of 2,843 US dollar tether and the amount I've gotten is 0.035 Ethereum. So typically you want to use limit orders if you want to get an exact price for whatever you want to buy or sell and you want to use market orders if you just want to buy and sell as fast as possible for the best price that is currently available. Now you want to be careful with market orders sometimes because when there is a very low volume, meaning that not a lot of people are buying and selling, then it sometimes it can happen that your price will be very bad that you're getting for whatever you want to buy. So if there's low volume, I would just use a limit order and then just wait until it fills. Now, one quick thing I want to show you that is really worth it if you're going to trade a lot here on KuCoin is to even further decrease your trading fees. So number one would just be to use my referral code that is down below in the description. And number two is to pay your trading fees in the KuCoin token, so the KCS token. So what you can do is just go to the trading pair and type in KCS. And then you go to, let's say KCS USDT. And then you're just gonna go ahead and buy some KCS tokens. Once you've done that, you can click on KCS pay fees here on the bottom, make sure that is ticked. And then whenever you do a trade, um, your trading fees will be taken using the KCS token and that will save you another 20% in trading fees.